baking summer heat descended on the Giro d'Italia for stage 10. A long slog up the coastline from Abruzzo to Marche. 196 kilometers predominantly for the first half, flat along the coast from Pescara to Yezi. Three riders in the breakaway, controlled by Alpecin Fenix and by Antamache Wanty Gobert. It was Baiz who took the first intermediate sprint. That left a few points on offer for Giacomo Nizzolo in the Maglia Ciclamino competition to snaffle over the first sprint along the coast. The three riders in the breakaway, including Alessandro De Marchi, who took the first of three categorized climbs when the race headed inland on much more narrow roads and very testing terrain. Over the second climb of the day to Recenati, De Marchi picked up a further three points to add to his total with Mattia Baez and Lawrence Nassen. Those three riders continuing to work well together through the intermediate sprint in Filotrano, the hometown, of course, of Michele Scarponi, who came out in his memory. And Alessandro De Marchi then went solo in an effort to try and hold off the chase. But with Alpecin Fenix riding hard and Antomarche Wanty Gobert trying to set things up for Biniam Grimai, his chances of victory were always slim. De Marchi was caught with one big categorised climb still remaining, the climb to Monsano. Alpecin Fenix and Antomarche started to shred the peloton. Combination of GC riders and support riders for Biniam Grimai and for Mathieu van der Poel hit the front as the gap started to shrink. Lorenzo Rota nearly taking the wrong turn. Mathieu van der Poel then attacked but couldn't get clear and a reduced group came together. Despite the best efforts of the Dutchman from Alpecin Fenix, he was hunted down. On the descent in towards Yezi then, Richard Carapaz, who was there from the Ineos Grenadiers, launched an attack, but the other GC riders, Mikel Landa and Roman Bardet, reacted to that move. Then Hugh Carthy tried to go clear from EF Education Easy Post, but he too was reeled in. And so it came down to a reduced bunch sprint with the unlikely sight of Domenico Pozzovivo leading out Biniam Gramai with Mattia van der Poel on his wheel. Van der Poel almost came close to Gramai, but Gramai held on to take the first ever win for Eritrea at the Giro d'Italia, a moment of history in the making. You know, every day they come new history, so I'm really uh, grateful and happy about what I did. Yet another very, very good finish from Biniam Grimai, and this time it ended in a victory over Mathieu van der Poel, no less. A testing day for Juan Pedro Lopez, but he hangs on once again to his 12-second advantage on GC.